Very nice. All right, thanks. Tatum O'Neill is a mom. She's an actress. She's an author. And her life is a truly amazing story. She's telling everybody about it in her brand new book. It's called Found, A Daughter's Journey Home. And joining us this morning live is Tatum O'Neill. Good morning. Good morning to Sacramento. Hi, How's good the morning, weather in too. Sacramento? It's hot. It's hot. It's, it's very hot. It's going to be 90s. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I'll be back in California <laughs> shortly to enjoy that hot weather. I know how much you like it. Your your book, uh, boy, I tell you, it sucked me right in. Uh, this story did it? about Thank yeah, you. it really did. I mean, just the, just the introduction alone, I'm like, wow, this is going to be. <laughs> That's a good introduction. Gonna be, yeah, this is going to be uh, a, a, a huge uh, now. If I, it's if it's not your life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it is. And you know, you, you do it. You talk about your life and your struggles with uh, with drugs and with alcohol and your, your family issues with such candor and humor, you know. Is, Thank you. It, it I really, really tried. Trouble. That was really important to me because you can't live your life unless you can kind of laugh at it in a way. And I've always been able to do that. It's sort of like if it isn't funny, then it's not good in a way. It, it was just such a hard life that there has to be humor in it. It is. And you, you know, you're not that much older. You're about the same age as we are, right? Yeah, right around right. 50, yeah. coming up What'd on you 50. Say? You're about the same age oh, we yeah, are here, yeah, coming yeah, up yeah, on yeah, 50. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Probably. that's what, you know, I'm very, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm like every woman who's my age, except for I've had this sort of different life. But the insides, besides addiction and stuff, ha has been the same. I have the same issues. And that's something that, it, you know, I think is really cool about the new book. I think I I like the fact that as we're talking here, how honest you are in this book, and that besides the the stuff that you mentioned, the not so great stuff, you write about everything in this book, and you're very, very honest, and we like that. Rather than buy a book and it's sold on one or two things, you don't get the story. Can you tell right. me? And you've been asked this so many times, but just bear with me. When you were in Paper Moon, way back yeah. in the day, when you look back now, do you wish you were not in that movie? Do you think that that had anything to do with you growing up the way that you grew, having that huge amount of success at such a young age in such a great movie? With your dad? Uh, it's funny. I, I don't know what it would be like to be in another body in another life without the life that I've had. I, I never re regret anything. I never think, oh, gee, I wish I didn't win that Oscar and didn't have that great experience making that movie. I don't know. I, I, it is my life, so I, yeah. I choose to sort of make the best of it. And, um, and I think that I'm pretty proud to have that great film in my history and also that experience with my dad and and that sure. great honor so yeah. you it's... know I mean the fact that I didn't you know that I've struggled and stuff is is a bummer but I just keep on trying um, like a lot of us and I think for women especially that um, who deal with alcohol or, or drugs or anything I think it's, it's a little harder for us to kind of pick up because we have a lot of shame if we're if we're, if we're mothers and stuff and I think it's important just to really keep going and, sure. and believing in yourself and I'm sure you know people that have had the same issues that I've had. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you real quick as we get set to wrap up here you talk a lot in the book about your relationship with your dad and mending that and now you've got the, the show on own and you, you guys come together and you pull apart and and where are you right now in your relationship with your father Ryan uh, O'Neill? We are we're doing good today uh, it's, a it's a it's a challenge. It's a challenge because he likes g girls who are in their 20s, and I'm not. <laughs> and I give him quite a conversation, so he's not sort of used to that. So too too bad. Tough luck for that. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you know? uh, do you? I notice that you call him Ryan. Why do you do that and not Dad? Sometimes when I was writing the book, I was really mad at him, so I would just say Ryan because I was so mad that I couldn't call him Dad. However, I'm not mad at him today, so he can be Dad. It sounds like is it a date? It sounds like it's a day-to-day -day thing. Well, listen, I didn't speak to my dad for over 20 years, so it's not a day-to-day -day thing. However. Some people change very slowly, and in this case, we're talking about that relationship. And it's, you know, I want to be respected, and I want to be treated the way I feel I should be treated, and um, that's just the way it is. And so, if I feel that I'm not being, then I am going to pull away and and not. Uh, give you the time of day, if you will. Well, I, uh, I appreciate you joining us this morning. The book is... But he's uh, being great now. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you both are. It's good to hear, and we wish you the best of luck with the series on OWN as that kicks off on Father's Day this Sunday. We'll watch for that. And you're not a showbiz phony. Good for you. I like that about you. I really, I really have been a fan my whole life of yours, and it's nice to, nice to meet so you this way. Thank you so much, Don awesome. and Mark and Cody. And bye. <laughs>
Breyer Fire. And everybody. She's Thanks got the name. Much. The everybody. book is called uh, Found a Daughter's Journey Home. It's Tatum O'Neill's second book. It's a follow up to her first, which is called A Paper Life, uh, which chronicled what she thought was her uh, triumph over drugs and alcohol, which it turned out it was not. Uh, this book kind of picks up where that one left off, and it's it really is. It will just pull you right in. It's so much stuff. Book. I mean, she's Very married, to, she's married to John McEnroe. Mm -hmm. She got the whole thing with her dad, with Farrah Fawcett. Three kids. It's, so much she's stuff. got a lot going on in there. Like that. All right. It